Hello, good morning. How is everybody doing? This is morning blessing. So what was your greeting to self today? My greeting to self was, here you are. You look absolutely wonderful. And it was a nice feeling to feel wonderful today. And that is why we are here this morning to say, you are great just the way you are. You're wonderful just the way you are. You're amazing just the way you are. So there we go. So today is another beautiful day. It's Wednesday. It's March 24th. And it, the temperature in Toronto is warm. It's warmer than yesterday. And that's what they're saying. So of course, you know my adventure yesterday. I went down to the lake, checking things out, went to see what I could do, what I could see. And doing my exercise, I went up the hill, down the hill twice. And it was just a great day for doing that. I spent some time in the garden just want, watching things growing and seeing, good morning, Yoko, how are you this morning? And I spent some time in the garden. I was watching what was happening and it felt really, really wonderful. So it was really nice. Hello, Don. Oh, hi, Debbie, how are you? And it was really wonderful, This you know, just walking around and doing my stuff and going to the garden. So today... As you guys know, your morning greeting is the most important thing you can do to, for yourself. So how was your greeting to self? Hi, Donato. How was your greeting to self this morning? Did you greet yourself with a wonderful hi? Here you are. I did. I had this amazing feeling this morning. I felt alive, but again, I started that, my exercise program walking up and down that hill and I'm going to do it at 10 o'clock today. So that stimulates me and then the next day I'm fired up and ready to go. So the morning blessing, as you know, is something I bring to you every day. It's something I want to do every day. I look forward to doing it. I get ready, I get dressed, I get stimulated, I'm ready to go because I want you to feel as great as I do every day. I want you to know and believe that whatever your faith is and whatever your belief is, you have it. The morning is a time to reach deep and find your God, the spirit of God within you. And if you're blessed, like I am blessed, to share a short prayer in the morning with a friend, you have it made in the shade. And when you connect with the God, don't, it's, it's a private thing. The world does not have to know. I, the world knows everything about me, so I let it out. But connection with your Holy Spirit or the Spirit within you, you don't have to be Christian to have that. If you have another faith and that's what you believe in, then knock it out. Get in there and connect. There is a meaning and a purpose for you to be there. Start your day on the footing of the strength of your God inside of you. Start your day in there. Believe that whatever you're doing, you're doing the best of it because you're guided by your God to do that. And that is what I do. I come here every day to inspire you. I come here every day to motivate you. And that is why I say, greet yourself when you look in the mirror. I know at that time you don't, you don't feel like it. But when you go into the mirror, you go, in the bathroom, here you are. You are absolutely wonderful. I mean, you have to laugh at yourself. And you can't laugh at yourself, then you're not going to laugh at all. And the first laugh should come from you. And laugh is so much better, serotonin and whatever else it does. I am no scientist. But one thing I know for sure Laughing and enjoying a good, hearty laugh, whether it's yourself, is stimulating and it encourages you to do better. So when I come here in the morning to inspire you, to motivate you, to enlighten you and to educate you, I sometimes have to use my own self. And my mantra for you today is, it's never the same when you look back. Trying to go back to the past is never the same. It is not the same. You cannot go back. So when you feel the urge to say it was so nice, then don't do it. Because you can never go back. You can, you can have the memory, but to turn around and go find that spot, that sweet spot, it's not possible. So remember your mantra for today is, I must go forward. I need to seek another spot. I have to try something else. This is your mantra for today. Don't go back. Going back. In the Bible, I know I, I sound like a nun, right? In the Bible, it, you talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. And I remember when I was leaving to go to Canada after traveling half around the world with my parents, 
My mom said to me when I was, when somebody, an uh, uh, airplane was leaving and somebody turned back and waved. And she said, when you get on that step, don't do that. You're going to start a life. She said, don't look back. She said, the only woman I knew that looked back when she was living, she turned into a pillar of salt. My mother took the Bible as a daily passage every day. It had something to do with her. So she's talking about Lot's wife in Sodom and Gomorrah when they left. And she looked back at the city behind and she was immediately turned into a pillar of salt. The story of the Bible, my mom took it literally. So she said, when you get on that platform and you're going up, just keep going. Don't look back. Do, do all your goodbyes and all your hugs and kisses right here, right now. Because you're starting a new journey. Looking back is not going to serve you right. And she's talked about the woman turning into salt. So I literally did that. So yesterday, though, when I went down to the lake, I did something. And it was only last night I realized you cannot go back. I took you guys down on my journey where I exercise. I'll always do that. I need the heel. My legs need the heel. My body needs the heel. I took you to that tree. Hmm. And, and the energy wasn't the same. I went back. I went back there and it wasn't the same. I knew that it wasn't comfortable. To tell you about that spot, you would have had to be there. To tell you about that spot, every boulder was placed by the sea, by the, by the lake, in such a way that lounging was amazing. It's almost like you could sit and you had a stone here for your books and a stone here for your leg and a stone there for your water. And that was what it was like. So what I'm saying to you is that I went back and I was trying to take you to a place I went in, in, 90, in the 90s, that's when I found it. That's when I found the energy of that place. I've been going there for years, but that day, the first time it happened, I was sitting on the rock and I was studying, meditating, looking at the waves and just doing my thing. And I felt the energy. I looked up and I must have been so deep into meditation, I saw the energy. Didn't know enough, didn't know nothing. I let the energy go. I kept going there, not remembering that experience at all. It was perfect for, for sitting. When my siblings came to visit, we all went there. And when I went yesterday, it didn't look the same. It didn't feel the same. I couldn't show you how, what that tree was like. I couldn't show you what it was sitting to be sitting there and at that time and in those energies. I, going back to that place yesterday made me realize what I tell people every day that you cannot go back. I did it. I went back there. And in going back there, I found out it's true. You cannot go back. There are miles and miles of this lakefront. I have to find a spot for the new me. I have to find a spot for this new woman that I purposely manufactured and created to be standing here. This does not suit me. It was not comfortable. I couldn't sit there and tell you about it. And there was something that happened. I knew nothing. I will explain it to you because you people don't realize what meditation is. And some of you might not believe this experience. And I, I will tell you. So for, remember, I went there and I said, I saw an energy. I ignored it. I didn't know better. I didn't know anything about that. I went back there years and years and kept on. And one day I was there. And for some reason I had evolved and I understood it. I don't, nobody taught me how to do that. I looked up and there was this energy only in the shape of a human being. I know I was alone dressed all in white from top to bottom. I looked at the energy and I said, who are you? And the energy in my head said to me, call me Sahadu. The first time you saw me, you should have asked me to come with you, but you did not. But now I will come with you. I don't know anything about that, but I realized this person was dressed like a Sikh, but in white. 
I went back to work. I was at City Hall Branch. Our uh, receptionist was from Sri Lanka. Her name was, uh, um, what is her name? Anyway, her last name was Japalan or something like that. And I went to her and I said to her, I said, um, Yuna, Una, I had this experience at the lake. Can you explain this to me? What is a Sahadu? And she said, what? And I said, yeah. And I told her what happened. She looked at me and she said to me, a teacher, a preacher, um, a guide. And what are you talking about? Where did you have that experience? But Una was kind of flighty. So I said, that's okay, Una, fine. So I went, we had another guy working there called Jakta, Jakta Singh. So I went and Jakta and I were kind of colleagues, same level. I said, Jakta, I am to ask you a question. So I told him the experience. Jakta was sitting down, he stood up and he looked at me and he said, do you know, of course, people will kill in my religion to have this experience? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. Just tell me what all of this means. What does, what I asked Una and she's more confusing than you. He said to me, you must have a good heart. If you didn't have a good heart, you wouldn't have that experience. He said, that's a teacher. That's a seer. That's somebody that you can lean back on. They will always guide you. You know that. I know. He said, just, you know, just connect. And of course, I, I over the years, and Jack Taylor looked at me, he smiled, and he walked away. He said, I'm leaving my office because this is flabbergasting. So many people would love that experience. He came to you. Anyway, I continued on my journey. So that is where that happened. But that place was always comfortable. The boulders that would come, the pieces of wood that would be floating would make seat and we would sit on it and it couldn't move and it was perfect. I still have my guide. I still am, I'm a little, I know a little bit more about what a Sahadu is. I didn't even know the word and what I was told. So I, I, what I'm trying to say is that I went back there not looking for the Sahadu. I went back there to feel the energy, but the energy wasn't there. And what I know for sure is because I have become a new person. I have developed a new personality. I have grown into who I am today. So I have these miles of lakefront at my doorstep. I need to find another spot to sit, to meditate. So what I want to say is that the thing that I teach the most, I didn't realize I was going to fall into it, is that you cannot go back. You cannot ever go back. And no, I know for sure I cannot go back. My guide has never left me. I can hear, I can see. And I know there are times that when i at my lowest, I can pull this, what do I do? And I will hear. I'll go into meditation and I'll hear. So what I know for sure is that I have to start a new journey of going down to the lake because water is what I need. And find out another spot that is going to be comfortable to sit and meditate. Not too comfortable to find anything. I don't look anymore. But I have all I desire to go on on my journey. But I need to teach you not to go back. Because yesterday I made that mistake of going back to show you the beauty of this place. But the beauty really was inside of me. The beauty was the energy that surrounded me that day and that time. And that time is gone. So I have, I cannot go back. I can look at it, but I can't go back and feel it. I cannot share it with you. I, because it doesn't exist anymore. I need to show you a new place. I need to take you to another spot where we can all enjoy being together. So my message today is to remember, don't go back. There is no way you can go back. A choice, a pillar of salt, or you realize, ah, uh -uh, the time has passed. We are in this present moment. We have to go forward. And so when you go back to seek the pain you had, and when you go back to say it was bad, even you say that, it's not bad now, is it? Even when it was really hurting back then, it's not bad now, is it? Even if it, when it was a lot of fun and love and passion back then, it's not the same now, is it? It's a new thing. So we can use it as a lesson. I can tell you about this experience and people think I'm completely crazy. 
but this is the experiences that I have. These are the things that happen. One of them is because I spend a lot of time in silence and meditation. I can go for days if I choose to not to talk. It doesn't bother me. And I can do it for hours. But I spend a lot of time going inside. I spend a lot of time looking at the wonders of the world. A leaf. I will see one leaf moving on a maple tree and all the others are still. I will notice it. And somebody else will say, well, all the, the leaves are all still. And I say, no, this one is moving. And that's the first time they'll see it. So that's because I look at things differently. I told you, I see words differently. And that's why I can hear a word, I can see a word and a phrase, and I can create a whole thing about it. These are the gifts that I have. And I use these gifts every day to teach you how to live a better life, how to live a more fulfilled life, where you can have what you want and desires are coming into your life. So today, I wanted to let you know that yesterday, I took you to a sweet spot that wasn't sweet anymore. It was sweet then. And that is what we must remember, is that what is sweet then doesn't necessarily have to sweet, be sweet now. It's like having a lover, breaking up with the lover, and going back there. What do you, what, what do you expect to get? So that's the question, and that's what I did. And that is something that I shouldn't have. I should have known better. From the time I walked there, I should have seen it. It was different. But no, I was caught in the memory. And that is what happens to us. When we stay in the memory of the past, we cannot sense the future. We cannot, we cannot be in the present. And the thing is, I could have fallen on the rock because I was going to look for something that no longer existed. It wasn't ready. It's, it's gone. So now I will never go back there. I'll pass that spot because I will have to pass it to go further because I know we go further all the time. But I'll never go back there because I know what was there then is not there now. And, and sometimes we have to face that. But that was a lesson for me to share with you that life is like that. What we, we have and the pain, the joy, the love, the passion, the memories is there just that. Going back to that spot to find it is not going to be the same. For one thing, it's a new century. It's a new day. The energy of the world has changed. Look at what we've been experiencing. So how could I, with the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding of both knowledge and wisdom that I was blessed with, fall? And that's what I did yesterday. I fell. So... Sending you light and joy on this wonderful morning. Take what you got today and use it. And if you can, share it. And let somebody not do what I did yesterday. To go back looking for something that's no longer there. Have a wonderful and amazing day. And let me see what you have to say. You guys were silent today. Nobody talked today. <laughs> I talk too much. Is that <laughs> okay. Hi, Yoko. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Donato. And who is this there? Hi, Donato. Good morning. And Ohana and Kit. I enjoyed walking with you on your YouTube. Yeah, yes, it was a good walk, Yoko. The only thing is that I couldn't, I couldn't, I shouldn't. I, I, you, I can go on the walk. I will keep doing that and I'll keep taking you on the walk, but I will not take you to that spot. What I, what I had once there left. So have a wonderful day, all of you. And I really appreciate each and every one of you for coming here this morning and listening to me. And every day I'm inspired. I told you I have hundreds of, of writings to do for morning blessings, but it seems that I have experiences that I must share. And that one was important for me to let you know. So have a wonderful day. And let me know what you think. Send me a note, Debbie and Anik and, and Yoko and Donato. Let me know what you thought of what I talked to you again today. And maybe share it with somebody. Because somebody out there will maybe go back and they shouldn't go back. So sending you light and joy. And please, guys, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love you to do that. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.